Okay, I'm here with uh, the Adders manager, Ivor Green. Ivor, third pre-season friendly in, and uh, what a super performance. Yeah, I've trusted it. Um, three tough games, obviously with Tamworth, um, Cobb United and these, and it's what we set up to do. We wanted a tough start, a real tough start, to see where we are from the back of last year. Um, and the lads have been outstanding, to be fair. Another horrible day, red hot. Um, small squad again, as we said we were going to do. Um, and I thought the energy levels were phenomenal. This, this is not all about the results. We, you know, we've made that clear. You want to win every game, of course you do, but it's about what the players get from it and our organisation, uh, our movement, our fitness levels, everything you want from it have been there. So just a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, I mean, some super performances out there. I thought I thought we started uh, slowly the first 20 minutes. I thought uh, uh, Kozal bossed the first 20 minutes, but uh, once Mitch Thompson scored, we, it gave us a little bit of confidence and belief. I think when you're playing against top sides, and they are a top side, make no mistake, you've still got to be brave. We're a football side, you know, we've not got a big side, we're not we're not a long ball side, we're a football side. Um, and you've got to be brave and you know, sometimes players are looking up and, and they're seeing players marked and they're thinking no and they're lumping it long, you're just giving possession away. We, you know, we're a good side and we are a brave side. So after fifteen minutes we settled down, we started to knock it about um, and we played some good stuff. Um, but again that's pre season, you know, we can discuss that at the next training session. Um, you know, we've got to be brave from the start. We're a good side, we've got good energy, good footballers. We're a football side, we have to be a football side. So, um, as friendly as you learn from them, you know, there are things that happen today we've got to learn from, but don't underestimate what you've played against. They've played against some very, very good, energetic, quality footballers today, and they've got loads from it. So, it's all a plus for me. Yeah, I mean, people like uh, Mark Williams as well have been absolutely terrific, haven't they, pre season? Danny Harris, these guys have worked so hard to get themselves fit. I can't praise them enough for that. I mean, at the end of the day, they've got a good opportunity to play football here. You know, we, 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 I've signed two players so far, you know, on top of what we had last year. Um, unfortunately, we've got a lot of injuries as we saw today. Um, so there's a chance for everybody. And our, their attitude, I, I, honestly, I can't speak highly enough of them first class. I mean, we had a, myself and Mark Williams, for example, had a good conversation um, a few weeks ago about this year. Um, and he wants to give it a go. His attitude towards football is incredible. He's, a, he's an example, really, for me to others. Um, and he's improved tenfold. He's been superb. He's had great energy. He's been good on the ball. Um, he's a fit boy, a real fit boy. He's an ex-Marine, so he will be. Um, and he's an example, but I, I couldn't pick anybody out, to be honest. I, I, I can't speak highly enough of them all. Every single player has put a real shift in every game and treated it as a big game as well. You know, they've not been sloppy. They've not said, well, it's a friendly. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You know, if you want to get in the side, you've got to give your all and be performing. And, and at the moment, I've got an headache. You certainly have. I'm talking of performing, I'll give you two words. James Beeson. I said it in the last interview I did in terms of goalkeepers. Great penalty save, another great save. His, distri his distribution uh, is a big plus for us and the character. I mean, what a great guy. But yeah, he was phenomenal yeah. today. And that's what I say when you're playing against top quality sides, sometimes you need a bit of luck, sometimes you need a keeper just on form. And, he doesn't have many bad ones, does he? No, I mean he, he was taking crosses, you know, but, you know, taking all the pressure off your defenders as well. Uh, it, it, it's going to uh, be a massive plus for you if you can keep him fit. Uh, keeping him, yeah. Keeping him here, you know, it's yeah. Like, you know, clubs are coming in from all. I've had a conversation with three players today that have been bombarded this week with clubs, uh, and, and their attitude towards Alistair at the moment, honestly, I, I just they're here for the right reason. They want to play football, and they're saying to me, "I'm enjoying myself. I want to stay here." I just find that incredible, you know, they're turning out very, very good offers uh, and as I say, they're enjoying football, it's a short career and you've got to enjoy it as much as you can, the money's nice, of course it is, um, they get a little bit here but then the offers they're turning down, honestly, uh, to me, it's phenomenal, um, they're a good group of mates, they're looking after each other and from Beeson all the way through to the striker, there's a great attitude, so it's in a good place at the moment. Yeah, I mean, some of the players that uh, weren't here, uh, today because of injury, uh, we're still here to support the team, you, you know, Alex Norton, Nathan Haynes, Josh Ruff, um, y y that must absolutely thrill you as well. The group of mates, training sessions, you've been here yourself Martin, you see them sitting in the stand while the boys are training, they don't miss a session, um, you know, we've got a game Tuesday night, we'll be training here Thursday, they'll all be here, every one of them, it, it's unbelievable. It is a problem at the moment, I have to say, it's, you know, it's something we've got to look at this week, there's too many players injured, I looked behind the dugout today. You know, we've got Carl Baxter, Nathan Haynes, Alex Norton, Josh Ruff, Scott Goodby, Liam Curtin. You know, they're good quality players to have. Yeah, them. I mean, Mitch Thompson's problem. picked up a little knock today. It's Hopefully, it'll be all right. But uh, it's every game, Mark. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a real worry. But, but people will say, well, you, you know, you shouldn't 
they've got to they've got to play pre-season. You know, you've got to get your fitness levels up, and it's a risk you take. It's just that's football. Like, you know, no excuses. That's football. It happens. You've just got to live with it. But certainly, in terms of numbers, um, you know, we've got to sit down this week and take a serious look at where we are because some of these are not going to be fit for the start of the season for sure. So we, we've got to take a look at that. Yeah, I mean, just imagine the headaches when they're all fit. <laughs> oh dear, I thought about that one. Oh dear, I'm thinking about putting my boots back on to fill a gap. It's it's a problem, but you know, we're yeah. like every other club. Everybody's got the same problems. You lose one or two for injury. You have to pull one or two in. Eventually, you're going to have a situation where you're going to have a fantastic squad available, and you're going to be leaving good quality players on the bench, and maybe not even in the squad. But that's you know, I can't really help that. Um, as I say, I've proved. Um, at the end of the year, I've said to the players, look, I'm not looking to bring many in. I brought the two we wanted in and was going to keep it as it was. The fact that we're getting to a stage where we're going to be thin on the ground and need to bring in is what it is. I have spoken to another couple of players last week, as I said. Um, hopefully they'll be there this week. They should be there for Tuesday's game, certainly for training Thursday, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, I mean, another tough game on Tuesday night against Soli or Moors at Bolmere. Um, but the, these are the types of uh, tests you want. Yeah, we've got it's on a 3G as well, but we've seriously got to look at it now. You know, you've got players like Jonathan Gould, Harry Donovan, Tom, you know, they've been played in all three of them games. We've got to seriously look at that now about players having a break and trying to shuffle it around. So I will be trying to pull uh, two or three lads in for Tuesday's game, you know, to give one or two of them players a break. But it's a great game, they'll be a good, energetic, fit team on a 3G pitch. It's going to be hard work. So again, it's, it's a great test for us. I can uh, borrow our Harry's moulds if you. Uh... If you need a player, mate. <laughs> Alan, Mark, when you buy me a point in there, we'll discuss it. All right, as I said before, you haven't done that bleep test yet, by the way. So we need well, to take a look well, at that. I'm just getting myself ready for me. <laughs> just getting myself ready. Ivor Green, thank you. Cheers, Mark.